So I thought I would hop on here and kind of go over how I do a double exposure. Um, so you can do this actually in camera with some cameras. I shoot on a Canon 5D Mark IV, so I have the ability to do it uh, that way. And it's it's kind of easier. I guess both ways are um, pretty great. Um, if you are doing it in camera and you have both scenes that you want, I would recommend for this second uh, shot that you want to create the double exposure to turn your camera into live view mode and you will be able to see like the first picture that you took so you can get the placement exactly right and I'm also talking with my hands right now which is kind of funny um, so anyways so I'm gonna show you how we how you can do it in post as well so to do this you'll need Lightroom and Photoshop so I have some images up here so basically, you are going to click on two photos. I recommend having kind of some like white space. It makes the photos more interesting. And I like to do it with people and like kind of textures that you can find out in nature. So these are all pretty decent to start with. Um, this one's not that great. <laughs> I meant to delete it. So just kind of like... I feel like soft textures kind of like evoke that um, like soft feeling that you want typically with a double exposure. But I've also seen people make like dope double exposures with like power lines and stuff. So it's totally just like what you want. Um, so you're going to click on your one and then you're going to command click on your other one. So that's going to select both of these. And then you're going to right click and go to edit in open as layers in Photoshop. And wait for that to pop up any day now <laughs> hmm there we go so if yours comes up with all of these grids over it just hit command H um, every time I open Photoshop it opens photos like that and I don't really know how to turn it off so you can see here um, uh, this photo is actually cropped, and so if you crop a photo, it's going to show up like that. Um, so you're going to go to your top layer here. You're going to hit screen, and then you can basically just move this around to where you want it. You could also go up here to edit, transform. You can flip uh, the texture that you want. Um, if it wasn't like exactly... So like you could do something like that. I kind of like it more the other way. <laughs> so I'm going to go back. Oh, wait, let's see. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> um, so then you hit uh, file save. And it's going to show you that it's saving down here. And then you're going to hop over into Lightroom. And there it is. So then you just go in. And if you have a cropped photo, uh, you just go in and crop it. Ta-da! Um, so we're going to do the same here. Command click, right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. And I recommend editing them beforehand because the merged file that Photoshop sends back is like, I think that it saves as, it's basically not a raw file anymore. Um, so. So you basically just move it around Sorry if you can hear my AC and my fan blowing. Um, so you can kind of see here uh, what kind of happens when you have that white space. The second image just kind of like falls off of the page if that is the correct <laughs> terminology for it so I kind of like that 
Um, yeah, I think I like that. Um, so file save and saving. And that's basically it. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Uh, definitely feel free to reach out to me. Oops, didn't mean to go here. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed.